Sorry about all the noise. It's hot and I have the air running. <laughs> so I, I, I finally found a purple, a, a purple twilight. I'm not sure if it's the correct color for this, but I try it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm also gonna put some interference purple into this one, just a little bit, and then this in both of them. Kind of like uh, so. Hey, that's purple. <laughs> The plan is to dump this one in first and then this one behind it so it swirls the interference colors in so they're not like concentrated into one spot. And I know it looks like a lot and it'll probably just turn white for now. I think I might want some more. I kind of want it purple. Can y'all see what I'm doing? All right, so I'm just gonna dump this one in. And then dump this one in. Haha, <laughs> changed colors, look at that. Uh oh, I made a mess. Good lord, it's on my table saw. Y'all see that? That I use my naked table saw, police are gonna get me. <laughs> All right, so let me get this under pressure. Really messed it up. Look at that, it looks blue. <laughs> Holy, it's purple. Well, that's created an issue. A couple, two or three of them. Number one, I gotta pour more. Number two, the waste management group's probably gonna get me for wasting a resin, because there's about an inch and three quarter down here. I'm not sure how much of that wood is in it. And number three, it puts me another day out from getting my project finished. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get this poured, not force you to watch it, and we'll probably be back on a lathe when I come back from all this in a day or two, in about half a second for you guys. <laughs> so here we are uh, as you can see it didn't float like I thought it did I don't know where that resin went it, in there somewhere you can see the hard line that's what I try to stay away from doing this big pour like I did and then the resin disappeared so I originally wanted to turn this the other way and have this the bottom but since this is here I'm going to do one of the pedestal bowls again I need to as you can see it's a, a bit wobbly here I'm not quite sure why with everything centered like I did it shouldn't be but it is uh, so I'm gonna go with a negative rake and try to get some of this fresh resin off here before I try to shape it some but you know flatten it out try to leave a lot of this as a rim up here so you can see through it yeah that's wobbly Woohoo! <laughs> Even way up there, you guys are getting covered. I got a whole half a side I haven't touched yet. I'm sure once it stops bouncing. Hey, well, I'll come back when I get that part done.
that is not going too bad. I'm gonna try to cut the other way and then do some sharpening on this in a minute. Oops! <laughs> it kind of appears that's where all my resin went. Right into that piff. <laughs> Wondered where it went. There it is. Alright, I gotta make that sharp because it's starting to get hot. That might end up looking pretty cool looking. There's a hoe. It's all right, I gotta go in further. I'm gonna go in further there. What I really need to do is this thing keeps loosening up. I'm not sure why, but cut my hand. I got a vibration right here. That's pretty tight. I'm not sure what it is. So anyways, I'll have to make uh, that sharp again, and then I'll be right back. How do you get shavings in your ear? In my ear, right here, in my ear. That is kind of cool. <laughs> that was really supposed to be purple. Kind of looks blue to me. I'm pretty, this looks a little big, but I'm pretty happy with that shape. We'll get it cleaned up and a mortise in the bottom. And hopefully I can, I think I can get pole barn in there somewhere. So uh, let me get this sanded up. We'll uh, put this in first and we'll get it sanded up come back some point about the sealer and stuff you know how that goes I threw that all off didn't it look at that wobble <laughs> yeah, you know it. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so there's a reason why I didn't finish the back side of this because for some reason whatever I had going on here was moving 
and, and it threw it off so I just need to straighten it up none of it's true you can see it's here you can see it's doing this it's also doing that on the base so I'm going to try to get this cleaned up somewhat so that I can get the center into it and then uh, try to work on the back side of that Senses are going off. <laughs> a little bit. I'm not going to fix it. Come on, man. Look at that. It's all wrapped around the cords. Messed you all up. Y'all are going to have to come back here and up here and Maybe I won't get you up there. <laughs> so all I was really trying to do was find the bottom of that. I just wanted to be able to get my center up against it without it pushing off to the side. I will keep looking. Don't laugh at me like that. I'll still put you on his camera. I'm glad to do. So the fun part begins. Now I got to sand it and sand it and sand it. I was hoping that you'd be able to see through all this resin, but I think it just filled up punky stuff. So my purple kind of turned into <laughs> ice blue. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, it just happened. Maybe it was the interference colors into there or whatever. I mean, I did mix two different colors. So maybe next time I won't put none of that in and just do purple. Uh, we'll see. So anyways, I'm gonna get this sanded up, but we'll be back. In a second. Okay, so I'm gonna get a coat of 
sand and seal it on. And then, I don't want to come off. Seal the lid on. And then I guess I got to go in the house. All you guys in your live videos going on here. Go watch Wayne the Woodturner live. I tried to make it last time and I had stuff I had to do. I think I'll go make an appearance. I miss anything? I'm trying to hurry. I don't know how long he's been on. <laughs> I haven't got enough time in the day to watch all these lives. One every week. One every day. Every week. The only good thing about it is he's doing it really late at night. I think it's, I don't know, 4 o'clock-ish or so here, 3.30. But anyways, uh, I'll get back to this tomorrow. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna put some more on there. I'm not gonna force you to watch it, but it does look pretty good, even though it's supposed to be purple. Still pretty cool looking. I, I see a few spots that are soaking this up, so it needs more coats, and we'll be back over there to the sticker board and talk about it. Okay, so uh, I got a sticker to put up. Uh, Spencer Robbins has a... Uh, I'm reading the letter. <laughs> Rockin' Art Woodshop. Um, he's got a channel inspired by me. Never thought I'd be here to inspire anybody to do anything. Honestly. <laughs> but that's great. Um, you can do it. Just be you. So we'll get this sticker up on the board. Childproof, as always. And I can't get them off. Oh, what do you think? Our liar looks like a good spot to me. Right behind my baby melon. So, uh, dummy forgot to take that thing off the lathe, so hang on a second. All right, so you know how it goes. I'll put his link to his channel over there, and there's just other information in the description below. So, here is my not purple bowl. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, the resin's its own beast. It is actually a pretty cool color. A little bit of the interference in there. You see it changing colors there. Uh, adding the interference may be why it's not purple anymore. I don't know. But China Berry Bowl, I still didn't get the center. And I thought I did. I had a light on it and it looked like I did. And then the back is, I got a pole barn in there. Um, I actually burned it in. It didn't go, so I colored it in with a fine line sharpie marker so you uh you all know how this goes give her a thumbs up or a thumbs down uh, i'll put pictures at the end and i got some other projects to get going still kind of in the process of making but uh, you know it's what it is uh, it's too hot to do anything outside so mine's being shot <laughs> so, uh, uh, 
I, I do like how the the resin uh, highlighted the I'm going to say that was punky wood because you can't really see through like you can see through that crack and, um, it, but it doesn't go down into it far enough where you can actually see through it real well so it, 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 it appears it absorbed into the the punkiness of the wood which gave it a really cool looking grain pattern <laughs> so but yeah thumbs up or thumbs down again put him in the description below we'll see y'all next week